this number one welterweight contender has found his way back to a title fight. A lot of people didn't think he would get there, and he's made a career of proving doubters wrong. You know, he carries a chip on his shoulder. You tell this man that he can't do something. Right. He will make it a point to get that done. He said from the moment he walked out the octagon last time and didn't win the belt, that I will be back. Many smirked at him. Many laughed. But his inner circle believed that it was only a matter of time before their guy got another chance, and when he got here, he would get the job done. Now, some would argue he wasn't ready the first time around. I think that's probably a little bit too simplistic, but there's no denying. He has rounded out his game. He has evolved. He's maximized the developmental time, and a lot of people believe he will have a new champion. Veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. Good to have you with us tonight from Team Over the Ring to the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. Oh, sidekick lands. Leg kick lands. Now we're doing here. Clean punch. Those are big strikes. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Right on the button. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. And that spinning kick out of home up top. Just misses with that one. In the engagement there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh! Big power shot there. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Under two minutes now to go in round one. So evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Oh, nice hook. Oh, nice kick. Able to land a combination there. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Lands a nice straight. All right, there it is. 
another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing, or perhaps try to set something up high later? On? Well, I think it's. I think it's all. It all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Nice job landing that knee strike. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments to that. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the left. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a five minutes it was for him. Rocked and stunned his opponent multiple times, and I don't know, did his opponent just say uncle on the stool, or is he going to fight on? I mean, he may say uncle. When you're getting beat and battered and bruised like that, it's a testament to your toughness, but it's not ideal. You want to be competitive. That round was not competitive at all. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. And there's that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive. Sidekick, well done. That was a solid punch. Oh, left hook. Nice block. Big shot lands for both guys. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Circling to his right. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nice leg kick. Well, missed on that one. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Able to land a looping right. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just missed with the leg kick. Or right hook attempt, no good. Check that last one. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Slip that one. Nice kick to the body. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Two minutes remain in the round. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Yeah. 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 Do a 
work with the jab. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here. And try to stop. Time his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. Stop it. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Big right hook there by the champ. 20 seconds to go round two. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 10 seconds to go in the round. Massive shots from the top. Oh, his ground oh, pattern is on full oh, display God. here tonight. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice little right hook there. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Beautiful shot to the leg. Yeah, he's got to, he's got to start taking kicks. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a work, great guys. job of doing just that. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Missed with that attempt. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this you, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. 
Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Going to the side kick. Just over two minutes to go. Went for the inside leg kick. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Oh, beautiful job here defensively. And then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse. He's Feels like the beginning of the end. Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the water. You gotta go like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Fifteen seconds. Oh, man. Let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when he... Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Nice shots landing from the top position. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent, and he keeps going to that spot. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Jab just out of range. Hey. And straight right, he misses. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful if he's looking for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh! Oh, he's another right ground now. strike gets through. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. All right, so the damage continues to be doled out, and I think a lot of fans watching at home would probably like to see the referee call him the back. And, and that's very rare, because fight fans want to see violence. But right now, you have seen him. This guy is beat. 
This guy is battered. He doesn't have much more. He has not done the right thing. All right, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter, and to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside physician. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's gonna take a look at him, check out the swelling, give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him and decide whether or not he can continue. I think they're gonna stop this fight. I stand corrected. Doctor's gonna allow them to continue, but he's gonna have to go for it, I would think. Yeah, he will, he's gonna have to make some adjustments. And also, he's gonna have to lay it all out on the line. He cannot stay back and get picked apart as he has to this point. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but this is with the kick. Well, that strike landed, not gonna help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned. Over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do yeah. as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. You gotta look at that thing. You gotta look at that work that you've done. You gotta take that canvas and you gotta paint it, man. You gotta get at it over and over again and continue to attack that same area. Feel sorry for the guy after the fight. Yeah. But right now, he's gotta pay the price. Under two minutes to go. Punch got blocked there. Back and forth we go. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. To end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight.